Oh, honey, I'm home. Don't call me honey. Danica really kicked the f***ing life out of you, didn't she? What happened? The float is a go with GoDaddy. Have you been feeding her? Yes. Hey, bitch! Why? Oh, god damn, you honey boo boo mama June June fat f***ing Godzilla be afraid of you, bitch! I'm tired of saturated fats! You are a saturated fat. All right, well, that's coming along well. Should we really be doing this? Uh, yes. Why? I don't know if we should. Did she get in your head since I've been gone? No, it's just not the right thing to do. Shamu over there cost me a job and a marriage. She's fucking done! I'll help you. 600 likes and we take down the GoDaddy CEO! What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Gumroots, and welcome to the final days of the Eutechnic Saga. Not to make you all super emotional right off the rip, but we have now entered into the second half of our farewell tour here at the NASCAR 2011 DLC career. 18 races down, 19... No, that's incorrect. 18 races down, 18 to go. Let's take a look at where we currently find ourselves after half this year is complete. We have two victories, six top fives, and 11 top tens out of 18 races. 210 laps led. Makes you think we should probably have more wins than we do, but this game just it looks to screw me at every opportunity it gets. Even with that being the case, though, we are the points leader. Up over Steve Harvey by 16. 42 over Jeff Gordon Ramsay. Jemai is in fourth, and Old Man Bushy rounds out the top five. Also finding themselves in the top ten in points. This this bastard that wanted to give me an autograph in 2008. Jamie McDouche, Bushy Bushy Bitch, Jet Dryer Montoya, Denny Hamster. Now this season uses the wild card format to decide who makes the chase for the Sprint Cup and currently taking the two wild card positions are Candy Cane and Kansas. This is because Kansas has three victories and the most win having biddies from points positions 11th down through 20th get these wild card spots. So Kansas has three Candy Cane has one, but there are others that also have one victory, like Roto Rooter, like Tony the Tiger. T-Rex, roar! He's got a victory, and Darb has a victory as well. So if you look at the points here in 18th, 454, and then you go up to Candy Cane, he has 484. Only 30 points separates them. The wild card battle is still wide open. Take a look at the rest of the point standings at this current point in time. You have Corn of the Cobb, who won the Bristol, just barely beat us out for that one, but hasn't run worth a damn in really any of the other races, so she finds herself 31st in point, really not looking like she's going to challenge for a wild card spot. Everyone else, where they find themselves after half this year is complete, T-Rex, little baby T-Rex, takes the final point spot, and that pretty much sums it up. Now let's talk about the last week at the Kentucks. Fast car. We weren't able to run down Steve Harvey early on. Once he got his lead, he kind of just drove away with it. But after some pit cycling, a 30 car on its side, that bumped Steve Harvey out of the lead, and we took over, and we drove off with the damn thing. By the way, we learned that the 30 car wound up on his side because he infiltrated the inside of my race car. It's really starting to become pretty damn creepy how many run-ins we've had with him. So I got my fucking eyes peeled like an onion. Anyway, we held that lead until pit stops or another caution came out during the round of green flag pit stops but this time it didn't really work out in our favor see this time for reasons that i still haven't fully grasped or understood they put us all the way to the back we were leading they put us in the 42nd, something like that. So we went on a charge for the final 10 laps. We were able to make it up into the top 10. We were battling for a top five, but hit the wall late, damaged the shit out of the car, couldn't turn on the final lap, and we lost five spots because of it. That brings us to the New Hamps, and I've been wondering all week, how is this game going to fuck me once more? We've seen the 30 car destroy us on pit exit. We've just tumbled out of the pit exit for absolutely no reason. We've made a pit stop, gotten lapped, and then the caution has fallen. We were leading. We came in. The caution came out. They put us in 40th, whatever. Two races we've been able to put together and actually win. We should have so many more wins at this point. We have been fast, but it's just this other stuff that knocks us down, and I don't know how we're the points leader, but we are.
We are the points leader, and hopefully this week we can start off this second half of the year well and we can keep it going. Let's find out if that's the case. The New Hamps, Loudon the Lobster, I'm coming for that ass and I'm going to release you back into the ocean because it's the right thing to do. And I'm also allergic to lobster meat. Let's get the video started. Let's go! One of these days, a disgruntled viewer is going to find me in person and it's gonna bring some, like, I don't know if I feel good about saying that I'm allergic to lobster meat, putting that on the internet. Someone's gonna walk right up to me and just shove it in my face and I'm gonna die! Here on PRN, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, ready to make their latest invasion of the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. I'm Mark Garrow with Doug Rice. And Mark, this is one of NASCAR's shortest races, but this is a very demanding little racetrack and to make your car work, you have got to get it to stick on the bottom. Some of the latest winners on this one mile track, Denny Hamlin, Clint Boyer, Greg Bimble, Mark. Martin and the surprising Joy Logano. The crowd's on its feet. 43 drivers ready to drop the hammer on the Reddit's Industrial Tools 301. Thank you, Doug and Mark! Mark, we missed you last week. It's good to hear from you again, buddy, even though I could probably barely understand a word you were saying because they did such an awful job in audio mixing with this game. The car walked up and qualified. It felt stupid comfortable, so it makes me think that it's gonna be a good, good day. We're underway at New Hampshire. Like, really, really comfortable. I'm surprised, honestly, that I didn't have the fastest lap right there. It locks on. Did he just do that to you? No, I did that to myself. No caution. No, no. I'll come back. I'm gonna show this fucking game a thing or two! Why do I even use the word? Why do, why do I talk? I was literally, literally saying, oh, it's hooked up right down here along the yellow line. Oh man, oh, there's so much speed down here. Yip -a -dip -a -dip -a -dip. Motherfucker, I said the words, and as I was saying them, I was spinning out from underneath me. So we got a lot of ground to make up already. It's gonna be a long day. This game's a pain in the cock and balls and been passing, trying to pass. Yeah, right, you couldn't pass a kidney stone out here. So I'm, I'm a little bit upset. I'm gonna need to take a moment to simmer down, to settle down, calm my nerves, and get refocused here. That surprised the fuck out of me. I really thought, you yeah, see that? I'm telling you, we got a, such a fast car. When I'm not spinning out, then, I'm, then, then we're actually pretty damn speedy and we're making up time. Well, holy crap, we gotta make up a half a lap. Let's look at the positives. I didn't take any sort of damage when I hit the wall. Or like my tires aren't really that worn. I'm just running faster and faster every single lap. My tires weren't that abused. There's still plenty of speed here. We're making up time on them. We're getting closer. And you know what? We could have a caution at some point. You never know. Clearly have the fastest car here. Look at this lap I'm about to put up. Two more tenths in the bank. I mean, I'm telling you, we got a rocket ship. You know when it's not gonna be a rocket ship? Is when I get into traffic and have to start passing people. You can just look at that mini map now and tell how much time I've made up on them. Half a lap behind when they were hitting that start finish line. Now, and like where I was on the back straightaway, now you can see that there is a big difference. We've made up a lot. I can see you guys up there. And I'm qualified up in the top 10. I had tremendous friggin' track position. Leading a bunch of laps, getting them bonus points. No, no. Now I gotta scratch and claw and claw and scratch and hope to God that maybe, just maybe, I can make it back up to that top 10 and then uh, try to challenge for the lead. Oh, I can't wait to make green flag stops here in a moment. We've got three laps left of fuel, our right side tires are worn to shit. And you know, green flag stop. How well have green flag stops gone? There they go. So it begins. Pit stop cycle has begun. Maybe there'll be like some sort of accident that happens on pit road exit since they're so keen on doing that. I don't think I've ever used the word keen on the channel before. I don't even know if I used it correctly. We got like another lap. I can only push it another lap on the fuel without. Oh, uh, no, never mind. We got a fucking blowout. We're coming in, bitches. What are you? What? Bitch! There's a fucking wall there! I mean, that's a pretty clean car for having hit the wall already, having spun out already. Come on, we're, we're a lap down now. We need to get back out of the track. We can't be losing all this time. I just made up a bunch of me. That was actually, what the fuck? 
What the fuck? What are we? Why? This is why I wanted to stay out as long as I possibly could, because I knew I fucking I fucking knew it. These flat tracks, these shorter tracks, something always happens. I smelled Lollipop's asshole on pit exit right there. He hasn't taken a shower in a while. What are we? What are you doing? That's not a caution. Now it is. I mean, it took a long time for them to actually give a shit. Where are you go? Where are you going? The fuck is this AI doing? We just got the race started, guys. Can we? Can we just relax? We take it a little bit easy. It's okay. It's okay. We're on the lead lap. We're all re regrouped together. We're honestly better off than we were. So it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. I'll make it up. They all just rear end each other, like hard. Like they're rear ending each other hard, and it's slowing them down a ton. Thirty car. Thirty car. That, look, I, I don't trust you, and I fucked that cone's ass. Now I gotta be concerned about our next green flag cycle, where we're not good like the rest of the way. We took damage, by the way. I can almost feel it. It feels a little bit tighter. I don't know what the hell's going on with that axle. We didn't put enough axle grease. Also looks like the engine might have taken a knock. Maybe that was when I started stiffing Lollipop's ass. I'm not going as quick as I was. I'm four tenths off of my fast lap. I believe that to be because of that damage. It is really tight getting into the corners before I was able to like roll the bottom. So I don't have to wait for a pit stop in order to fix that up and start moving again. I missed what lap it was when we threw it down the pits. I'm gonna assume that we can make it to like lap 40 and then make that pit stop and we should be good to the end of the race. So that'd be kind of important getting it fixed up and hopefully not taking any more damage. On pit exit, why are pit exits so fucked in this game? Think about our history in the last couple of months. Dover? Dover was like the beginning of it when I tumbled out of that shit. At Daytona's, that was a problem. Last week, we just had the 30 car flip on his side because of something that happened on pit road. Just the pit stops. And the AI can't handle pit exits very well because they've also like spun out a lot. Those are usually the cautions that happen after I make my stop and then I get trapped a lap down. Ah! Welcome to Michael Moses Mid Range Report presented by Gas Can Water. We had a good car. We had a good, good car. Now it sucks. This is the only passing that's going on in the entire field. I'm sure this sellout crowd up here in Loudoun, New Hampshire today is really happy that they attended this race. Let that fucking 30 go, a creeping, stalking, subtle little bitch. Don't want to be in a dark alley and the 30 car shows up. Hopefully, we can make it the rest of the way on one more pit stop. Pit stop that we're gonna make in about eight, nine laps, something like that. I, oh, Jesus, though. I, green flag stops scare the absolute hell out of me. I just wish we could have like a caution come out right around then. We can make our pit stop, no problems. Get off a of pit road, no problems. It's a green flag stop that you gotta worry about. I'm gonna push this as far as I can. Maybe even if I blow out a tire, I'll just run it until we're out of fuel. Just run on that blown out tire because I don't want to get caught a lap down. Now we got to fix the damage and then hopefully we'll be fast again and then we're going to have to rocket chip on up through this field as fast as we can because we'll be running out of laps. We'll see if uh, any of this shit that I've just mentioned to you actually happens. This has been Michael Moses Mid-Race Port presented by Gas Cave Water. Only passing, only passing going on is the AI passing mate. First pit stop, good. Get that 30 car the hell out of here. We've got four laps left. I just have to wonder if we can make it to lap 40 with the tires that we have. More pit stops have begun. But if they, they seem to be I mean, there are a lot of people on pit road. Maybe they can get their nonsense out of the way before I have to get there. Give us a caution flag. More and more pit stops happening. I'm telling you, I'm pushing it as far as I can go. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm so, and I'm slow. Well, the leaders are in. So that's okay, so I won't get lapped. All right, well, we can. Oh my god, oh my god. Now they're, they're gonna, oh my god, they're gonna send me back out here. And now we're gonna get no, now we get no caution. All because, you know what, fuck, fuck, give me that goddamn yellow. Give me that gut, this game can suck my toes. Give me that goddamn yellow, right now. You're goddamn right, 
I'm the superior go daddy! Fucking lord, let me make my pit stop, you fuckers. I got on the pit road. So what, I went through the grass a little bit. I don't care! Shit is so fucking dumb. And I, I mean, I caused that. I'm pitting from 10th. They like allowed me to hang on to my track position. They couldn't possibly allow me to hang on to my track position when I drove through the grass a little bit to get to the pits. Back to last. <clears throat> We've spent like, what, all of about one or two laps out here in the back. This whole race, we've been back here, and we've got the fastest car on the track, which is like the real kicker of the whole thing. We've got how many laps? We got 19 to go. And look at that, we got 19.6 laps of fuel. But, you know what the problem is going to be, is um, my tire's gonna blow out before we run out of fuel. But we fixed up the damage. We got that going for us. Only problem is, you know what? After like a few laps, we're gonna probably settle in here and we're not gonna really be able to pass anybody anymore. That's just the way it goes. Once everything gets single filed out, it's gonna be really sticking hard to go anywhere. Boyfriend, I'm telling you, give me the spot. Give me the spot. Give me the remote control. I don't wanna watch Forrest Gump again. Get gone, I'm telling you, we're going straight to the lead. I'm winning this race. I don't give a rat's ass what any of you people have to say about it. I have the fastest car. I've had so much bad shit happen to me in the first half of this season. And I thought today we were turning over a new leaf, a new book in the page. No! Fuck that cone. Fuck these people. See you, stock boy. Go and stock some lawn furniture at your daddy's store so he can afford to sponsor your ass. Making up decent spots, but what did I tell you? It gets single filed out, and then it just becomes really, really freaking hard to get by anyone. It's gonna be really hard. Now that they're all single, once they're double filed, it slows them down, and I'm able to get underneath them, and I can get like a two for one special. Now I gotta pick them all off, one at a time. You know how freaking long that takes? We are gonna be stupid close on fuel. I'm just noticing 12.4 and we're coming to 13 to go that don't compute and this is the one and only dumbass NASCAR game where you get a DNF if that number down there that fuel gauge strikes zero you can't roll around and coast on no fuel and try to make it back to the line it removes you from the race we're looking at another freaking pit stop I'm one lap short Almost exactly one lap short. I can attempt to just roll out of the throttle. We're gonna, we gotta try it. We gotta see if this can work out for us. Roll out of the throttle earlier. That'll also help us with tire wear. I won't be pushing it as hard on the tires, but then I'm not really looking to gain any more positions. If I do this strategy, if I'm like, I'm committed. I'm not backing out of it. We're making our bed, we're laying in it, that we are going the rest of the way and not looking to make up any more positions here. We're in conservation mode. And just like now we're at 10, now we have exactly what we need to make it the rest of the way. What, what about the AI? What's their fuel tank looking like? Their tire wear. Are they gonna be able to stretch it too? Probably. It's the AI. They always get all the help. It's not like I'm really freaking going anywhere by passing anybody anymore anyway. So it doesn't really serve a purpose to push it. We have saved the fuel already. I'm just not so sure these guys will not leave me alone. If the tires have it in them, I'm probably gonna have to run around here on like three tires to try to finish off the race. I can run around here on three tires, which is way more dangerous, but I can't run out, I, I can't run around here without any fuel in the tank. Someone just peeled off, so we got our first pit stop. Can they make it? Seven laps. I could see, a, if we got one on pit road now, we're gonna see more. There they go. Holy shit. Are we about to steal this one? Is the fastest car actually gonna win the race? Watch, there's gonna be a caution. Caution's gonna come out, and that's gonna screw something up for me. That's gonna end up burning more fuel than I have, and, I, and somehow I'm gonna run out of gas. More pit stops. Holy crap. We're gaining positions. We're getting closer. Five to go. We have just enough fuel to make it. I'm telling you, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. They're wrecking. They run. They run the seven car. We're fine. We're fine. But the seven car is wrecked. But they got going. They're getting going. They got spun out. I saw them get spun out. They got going. Oh my God! I knew it! I fuck. What happened to you? Were you trying to make a pit stop from the outside line, weren't you? Yeah, you were. You stupid motherfucker!
You gotta be kidding me. I didn't hit pit. I'm staying out. Now I'm gonna be the leader. Is this a bad idea? Should I have made a pit stop? Nah, fuck it. We're rolling the dice. I hope I have the fuel to make it. We should have two to go. Yeah, we're in overtime. Two laps and we actually, okay, we're good on fuel. We were able to conserve a little bit. We've got four laps of fuel left. If we have another green-white checkered though, we might be screwed. We gotta hang on for a lap and a half over these guys. Not a lap and a half. Oh my fucking God, the game did its stupid thing. They added a third lap. It's not a green-white checkered, it's a green-green-white checkered. Now we're on two to go. We have less than a lap of fuel to make it. They fucked so many different things with this stupid game. So much like small little details that any NASCAR fan knows they just, they completely botched and ruined. We're coming to the white flag. All right, focus up. All right, come on, come on. We're gonna get Jeff Gordon Ramsey back. We're on that white flag. we got a battle for the win right here. I've been screwed so many times playing this game Last however many months, and now I'm about to get screwed again. Now I'm not going to have a shot at the dam. I was trying to get it to the bottom so I could get it to the bottom and I could boop some people out of the way, but now I'm too fucking far behind. It's not even going to freaking matter. And I got no tires. They've got... I, sh I shit you not. My luck is not this bad. I literally said, I've got no tires, and my fucking tire blew out! What? How? 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 It's not possible for me to say things and then for it to just, and, and like for the opposite to happen. We were turning over a new book in the page today. <laughs> it's... To be honest with you, it's comical at this point. Just the stuff that, like, we've experienced it all. 19 race, we have been through everything. But I guarantee to you, there's still stuff waiting out there in the last 17 races that I have never experienced before that waiting for me. What are we doing? What, what the fuck? It's the 30 car again. The 30 car can't get enough of my goodies. Who the fuck do I, I think we got to do old man Bushy, driver credentials, old man Bushy. What's his log? Kurt! That's just pouring gas on the flame! Jeff Gordon Ramsey, Chef Boyardee, hell of a battle. Jump up there. Hey, but they made up some points on me today. That's that's for sure. I don't know if we'll still be the points leader, but hey, we led some laps. They're the fastest lap. Gotta take some solace in that. There's another word I don't think I've ever used on the channel before. This freaking guy, if he could have just um I don't know, put his hand out the window, let everybody know that he was gonna be making a pit stop, then um, I might have just taken the win because they were all gonna make pit stops. But no, we we, we can't have that. We can't have nice things. Uh, here's everybody else where, where they all wound up. Grandpa Martin, um, I am the superior go daddy. And um, uh, yeah, I only date winners. Can't believe. <laughs> wow, we are, we're still the points leader? Holy shit, I don't know how that happened. But I can't believe I said, what did I say? So about tires, and then I blew out a tire. Someone should make a compilation. I'm giving whoever wants to permission uh, to make a compilation of all the times I've spoken things just like either into existence, like a caution flag, or like said something, and then the exact opposite happened. We lead the points by 14 over Steve Harvey. Uh, these guys, they chip into our lead. We had a much bigger lead over them. We, oh, we don't anymore. Jeff Gordon Ramsey, Jabai, Old Man Bushy, that's still your top five. They're much closer than they were. Nobody moves. Everybody's just kind of stuck where they are. But you still got Cade. He's got three wins, so he gets a wild card. Candy Cade still gets the second one, but now he's got a new challenger in Tony the Tiger. Ten points down. Got Roto Rooter off of Candy Cane by 22. Who else we got back here? T Rex. T Rex falls off a bunch. Jesus Christ. 162. That's 47. He's within one race, but only just barely by one point. Darb. Darb ain't within a race of candy cane anymore. It's getting a little bit more stretch. Holy fuck, why is Chef Boyardee so bad? Next week is Indianapolis, everyone. After that Pocono, we got a whole lot of flat tracks going on here. Watkins Glen, Michigan, Bristol, Atlanta, and Richmond. Then we start the chase off at Chicago. I'll tell you one thing. 
NASCAR 2011 gives NASCAR 21 ignition a run for its money. A decade separated the two, but if you squint from a far distance, you might not be able to tell the difference between these two games. I think that this jacket actually might be cursed. It led us to believe that it wasn't at Sonomi's, but there actually might be something wrong with it. Th thank you. I should at least put it in the washing machine and get some of the funk off of it from the last owner. Cause that could be also leading to it. I, I don't, there's something afoot. There's something wrong here. And we gotta get to the bottom of it before the chase starts. I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. I sure as fuck didn't. I love ow, every single last one of you. You know what? I suffer for your fulfillment. That's my job. I'll see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!